All Blacks and Aerial Arts on today's locally produced Queenstown Sports Show. Fitness freaks converged on the rec ground in Queenstown on Saturday to see who could exercise the best. It's the latest fitness craze called F45. And as people completing a gruelling circuit, all black Aaron Smith led the way, completing exercises in 45 second chunks. I was average today, so a bit of jet lag and a bit of lack of sleep, but uh, I gave it my best, and uh, as you saw at the end, I was absolutely spent. And, and these two Queenstown jokers got roped in as well. Will you be real with me? What was the motivation today? Uh, well, we both got a crate out of it. <laughs> National Crate Day, so. Then the highlight of the day, a former Legends rugby game, which actually had some moments of brilliance. Here we've got Walker Tipu captain Bradley Cross receiving the kickoff, making some good meters. Scotty Cowan flings the nut out wide. Local legend Aiden Winter then gets smashed. Cowan again hits former All Black Tom Donnelly, aka Sass, who boldly chips through. Oh, recovered there by former Crusader and Highlander Tim Boyce. Then back to Sass, who then links with former Hurricane and part-time Christmas bull rider Adam Hill. Congrats on the birth of your baby boy, by the way, Hilly. He gets mowed down, and who's there? Sass. He manages to pop it back to Aiden Winter, who then gets ridden like Adam Hill on a bull at Christmas, and then loses the ball. But hey, pretty good rugby, to be fair. Well, good, sir. No, no good. Unfortunately, Canterbury won five tries to four. Red and black comes through again, bugger it, and uh, but we'll see you next year, so awesome, and uh, have a good night, and cheers. Is um, Tom Donnelly's All Black jersey from 2010 as well. Just daily inspo for us here at the uh, Lakes Weekly Bulletin TV studio. This next story takes me to Gravity at Remarkables Park on Red Oaks Drive. I donned some tight fitting clothing and experienced gravity. Well, I've got a bit of a taste today. <laughs> But before I came here, I had no idea what the story is with aerial arts. Could you just briefly sort of explain like what, what it is? It's, I guess it kind of comes from circus, but we kind of do it more of as a fitness and as a dance, as like a performing art. It's a lot of upper body and core strength. It's not easy. Anna has been performing for a year and a half and is already pretty good. Yeah. How did you get into it? Um, originally through the aerial yoga, which was a feature at the old studio and then hopefully again here one day, which is yoga in the air. Mm. It is as cool as it sounds. She came third in the amateurs category of the Miss Lyra event in Christchurch earlier in the year. Is it your first comp? Yes, first competition. <laughs> well, how long is your routine? So I was entered in the amateur category, so we were allowed three minutes and they were very strict on that. So well, you have to start from the bottom, so you have to start as a beginner. So after today like, I couldn't go home and try it on the curtain? Yes. No. <laughs> so would you consider it more of, of like an art or a sport? Oh, like the dance aspect is definitely the art, but the strength is, yeah, I would say it's a sport purely for that. It's like a spart. Yeah. <laughs> and if you want to see this glory in its raw form, the 15th of December, the greatest showcase. $25 a ticket, see some death defying acts, some saucy sort of aerial maneuvers, and some aerobatic displays of skill and athleticism. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's sports show. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Merry Christmas. Let's go, guys.